Hello and welcome to Sharad Chandra IS Academy, where your dreams are our mission. This is Yatharth here. And today we'll be discussing about a very important thing, that why UPSC wants you to read these extra books. So I'll be telling you what I mean with these, what books I am referring to. I'll also tell you why you should be reading them. I'll be giving you a proof of the questions that uh, are directly coming from here or being asked from this book or these books. I'll also be telling you what chapters to cover from these books. Alright, so let's begin. So uh, let's talk about this question from prelims 2023 only. Okay, so consider the following fauna. We have already discussed this question, so we will not be discussing in detail again. I will just tell you the basics. So, lion tail macaque, Malabar civet, Samba deer, and how many of the following or above are generally nocturnal, etc. etc. So, we will see where this question was in PYQs, NCRT, standard book. We will do a source tracing first of all. So, let us hop on to the PYQs first, just a second. So these all are UPSC PYQ I will be dealing with. So in which of the following states is a lion tailed macaque found in its natural habitat? This was probably asked in 2016 as far as I remember. And completely the name was given that you must know about this animal. Very famous animal, critically endangered. Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. So when we see the India's map, we don't see Andhra Pradesh here. It's the Eastern Ghats. And... The lion-tailed macaque is a member of the Western Ghat family. Alright. So, Tamil Nadu, yes. Kerala, yes. Karnataka, yes. Andhra Pradesh, no. Alright. So, the answer was uh, a 1, 2, 3 only. Uh, it was actually asked in 2013. Okay. So, 10 years old, let's say. Okay. Another question. Which of uh, the following groups of animals belong to category of endangered species? So, GIB, musk deer, red panda, shirik wild ass, Kashmir stack. So, lion tail macaque was already given here. There are a few more things, just a second, that could be taken from here. And it's already giving you the name of very important animals that it can ask about. When I say it, I mean UPSC can ask about. So, as you can see here, just a second. Great Indian bustard, musk deer. Alright, see here it has asked about deer as well already. GIB again. Asiatic wild ass. It has already asked about Asiatic wild ass again two times. Kashmir stack, cheetal, swamp deer. Swamp deer also came this year. Rhesus monkey. All right, cheetal, lion tail macaque also came this year. So these animals keep getting repeated. These are animals on repeat, such as Malabar civet, lion tail macaque. Sambhar, various different deer, cheetal, GIB. So these are some birds, there are extra butterflies, some few birds, which keep getting repeated. So please read everything about them. Their habitat, as well as habits. Whether they are solitary, they live in group, who is the leader. You basically already asked about a question, asked a question about elephants about their grouping habits who is the leader here all right so let's uh, see one more thing that in the ncrt it is mentioned in the risk of extinction species such as lion tailed macaque sangai all right so lion tailed macaque was also in the ncrt very directly given so upsc expects you to not only read ncrt but also to have a very clear idea about all the animals mentioned in NCRT. I hope you already know that UPSC is a, an exam where many many people fill the form. This is the number of the people filling the form, let's say. Alright, and only, just a second. So only these many are supposed to get or clear prelims. So this is an examination just like all the other examination of elimination. The aim of the examination is not to pass these people but to fail these people let's say. Alright, eliminate all the bunch of people who... So where lies in the competition? The syllabus is mainly the NCRT. All other standard books are extension of what's given in NCRT only. Alright, so UPSC syllabus will always be based on the NCRT. 
So you are supposed to read everything about at least these things: Indian rhino, lion tail macaque, crocodile, black buck. All right, all right. Let's go further. Again, in the NCERT only ninth class geography chapter five, we see about the Nilgiri, let's say, biosphere reserve. And further on, we see double mentioned some animals. Just a second, such as <coughs> Nilgiri tahar, lion tail macaque again. All right. Sambhar again. So both of them came into the prelims 2023. And in the 2024, let's say Cheetal can come. Okay, Nilgiri Tahar can come. So please read everything about them. Okay, let's see in the standard books which people usually read, which students usually read. So I'll not name the book, but it's given in the standard books as well. The Malabar Sevet, Lion Tail Macaque, and it has uh, told as well that it is nocturnal in nature. Okay, so please also read the standard books. In Sharachandra Academy as well, we cover all these things in our notes as well as classes. So you can join our foundation course. Okay, let's come to the next question, which was about uh, Vagal Dance. So we have already so, uh, solved the question, so we will not be doing that again. I will just tell you where the question came from. Okay. So let's go to the NCRT again. NCRT, NCRT, NCRT. Okay. So they fly around flowers in search of nectar. They also collect nectar. And when one we find flower with nectar, it does a special kind of dance. Okay. So this was Vagal dance. Prelims 2023. Okay, the worker bees are very important, etc, etc, don't have to go in the detail. Okay, let's go further. Microbes in the human welfare. So, we already saw there are a few other options. So, first we saw the honeybee and the NCRT. There were a few other options such as dragonflies, butterflies, wasp. So, let's see where these are mentioned again in the NCRT. One was the ladybird, dragonflies. Okay. This has also been asked already, BT cotton, BT, um, other different things, butterfly caterpillars. Okay, so this has already come. Furthermore, when we see chapter 2, class 12th, biology and CRT, so bees, butterflies, wasps, moths, birds, so all of these terms have been in NCRT. All of these. Whether we talk about the marsupials, we will see where they are from. Whether we talk about butterflies, Dragonflies, wasps, sambar, lion tail macaque. So you must read NCRT and read NCRT very thoroughly. Thoroughly does not mean that you must uh, read each line three times. It means that read the one line, see what is contained in that one line and read about what's contained three times. Okay. Okay, let's move further. So recently, this question came. For the first time in our country, which of the following states has declared a particular butterfly a state butterfly? Okay. So Arunachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Karnataka, Maharashtra. Maharashtra was the correct answer. This is the answer to this question that Maharashtra government declared the blue mormon as its state butterfly. Alright. Now let's come to the next question. The question was prelims 2023 again. Just a second. Okay. That some mushrooms have medicinal properties, some mushrooms have psychoactive properties, some mushrooms have bioluminescent properties. So let's see where this was mentioned in NCRT. Just a second. So how many of the above statements are correct? So we eliminated a few things also, some, some, some. So all statements can be correct as per our usual elimination techniques. But let us see in the NCRT as well. Okay, so this question also came in 2022. So we could have a clear idea that mushrooms can be asked. So it's a fungus. It grows in some Himalayan forestry areas. It's commercially cultivated, not commercially cultivated. It grows in the wild. Okay, so which of the statements are correct is correct. So two statements were correct. So this we saw in 2022. Okay, so in the NCRT, this is written that uh, kingdom fungi. So the common mushrooms you eat and toadstools are also fungi. 
okay so while some are used to make a bread and beer they can be of human utility some can cause disease in plants and animals okay fungi are cosmopolitan and occur in air water so there are some are source of antibiotics as well so they have medicinal properties it's very explicitly given it also say, says that they show a great diversity in morphology and habitat so one thing is directly given that they have medicinal properties some are even parasitic they have great diversity and whenever there is diversity in something then some statements are usually correct 90% correct okay ncert mentions all this and they also occur in air water etc in the current affair you could have read that bengaluru taps into medicinal mushroom cultivation this came into toi in february this year just a second indian express also repeated something similar but this was not from 2023 or 2022 even this was from 2020 so you could not have get a dream that uh, you know it can be asked but let's say just for reference we can see so the mystery of glowing mushrooms in meghalaya so these things uh, are being asked even about let's say four or five years later from current affairs because they are really really famous that meghalaya especially the northeastern india there are two just a second i'll explain it here So let's say this is India. Let's see if we have a better page. Okay, this is a good page to explain this. All right. So let's say this is India. So India, we have three or four hotspots from where UPSC is very interested to ask questions. One is the Western Ghats. This is a place that UPSC is very interested in. One thing is the Northeast region. Again, very interesting. And one is the Himalayan region as well as this region. You will be seeing very very less questions about wildlife or other things being asked from any other region such as let's say Central India, this Rajasthan region, Gujarat region, Maharashtra region, let's say, or even the Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Bihar, UP, Odisha, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, these regions. Alright, may even ask from Tamil Nadu, but uh, very minuscule questions from other regions. So these are the places you must be familiar with flora and fauna. And especially with what has been already asked, SPYQ or what has been given in NCRT. So this must be the strategy for prelims, let's say. Okay, let's go further. Okay, so when we come to this question that some microorganisms uh, can grow in environment, just say above boiling point of water, some microorganisms can grow in environment with temperature below the freezing point, some microorganisms can grow in highly acidic environment. Okay, so this question we had already solved and I hope most of you have gotten it correct in the exam as well. So we will not be solving it again, I told you about tech polymerase as well in the last video. So let's go further and see where this question came from. So we saw again in the NCRT that set of primers, a small and enzyme DNA polymerase. So DNA polymerase has been already asked. It was mentioned here as well earlier. Okay. And uh, such repeated amplification is achieved by use of a thermostable DNA polymerase isolated from a bacterium thermus acuticus. Okay. So very directly given, directly mentioned in the NCRT about this fourth option. Sorry, first option. One more thing we will see in the 11th class NCRT biology that bacteria are the sole member of kingdom Monera. They occur almost everywhere. They are present in extreme habitats as well, such as hot springs. Option 1 correct. Deserts, snow. Option 3 correct. And deep oceans. Option 1 correct. Where very few other life forms can survive. Many of them live as parasites as well. Okay, so it is directly being asked from NCRT. Alright, okay, let's move further. Molecular basis of inheritance. Another question directly from NCRT from biology. 
that in the context of development in bioinformatics, the term transcriptome, sometimes seen in the news, refer to range of enzyme used in genome editing, full range of mRNA molecules expressed by an organism. This was the correct option. So these are the questions being asked from NCRT directly, biology. Okay, do not skip it. I'll tell you which chapters to read further. Okay, let's come to this question now. Which of the following makes a tool with a stick to scrape insect from hole? Fishing cat, orangutan, otter, sloth bear. This question also came. Marsupial questions, prelims 2023. Okay, so let's come to the, just a second, evolution chapter, 12th class, biology and CRT. Okay, very directly diagram is given, complete diagram about the marsupial radiation in Australia. Okay, directly it tells you adaptive radiation of marsupials in Australia. These are the marsupials kangaroo we talked about. All right, there are other Tasmanian wolf. Tasmania, I told you from the Bose Strait. Here it's a small island. Sugar glider, marsupial mole, koala. Koala we, talk, we talked about, it's found in USA. Okay. So, this is directly given in the biology NCRT. So, I hope you are getting the hint where I am referring to now. Okay, this question, uh, the aerosols, foam agents, fire retardants, lubricants, etc. So, this we saw in the environmental chemistry, chemistry NCRT. Okay, then this chapter, HFCs are mentioned very well. And the utilities of HFCs are also mentioned. Okay. Let's further go to this question. That uh, climate and clean air coalition reduce short-lived climate pollutants. The CAG focuses on methane, black carbon and hydrofluorocarbon. So in the PYQs also, UPSC has asked about HFC. Okay. One thing you must be wondering that uh, how are we supposed to take all these hints from the PYQ? So please... Notice the fact that UPSC is not uh, e an easy exam to crack. Okay, and there are only a handful of PYQs that you are supposed to refer to. If Even if you include the 2023 and you go back, let's say, 15 years, then there are only 1500 questions. If you take the GS1 paper, that means a prelims paper, let's say. There are only 1500 questions. 1500 questions will give you four options each. You are supposed to read each option. These 6000 lines you are supposed to read. You need to know everything about these lines. If you know everything about these lines, it will make sure that you know the 2024 paper easily already. So not everything will come easy. There must be hard work, there must be smart work. Then only you will be able to figure out. Okay, let me now tell you that what all you need to read from these books. As I have named books, let's say, 11th class plus 12th class. NCRTs of biology especially. As well as chemistry. There are some chapters which you need to read. There are only 2-3 chapters. In biology, there are few chapters that you need to read. So let's figure out what are these chapters. So please uh, note down or uh, just tick the living word you need to read, biological classification you need to read, plant kingdom can skip but can read also, animal kingdom can skip but please read about the mammals, the class mammalia, alright. Morphology of flowering plants, no anatomy, no structural organization in animal, please read. Cell the unit of life, please read. Biomolecules, please read. Cell cycle, cell division, don't need to read. Photosynthesis, don't need to read. Respiration, don't need to read. Plant growth and development, don't need to read. Human physiology, you can read if you are interested in human physiology. This is a very good portion and very small also. Only 70 pages. They will give you a lot of information about your own body. But you should read at least chemical coordination. That includes our hormones, locomotion movement, and body fruits and circulation, if not everything. Okay. When we come to class 12th, then must read human reproduction and reproductive health. These are must read. 
principle of inheritance and variation this you can skip it is genetics you can read about this if you are interested evolution evolution is a must read this year also question came 2023 human health and disease you must read microbes and human welfare must read must read again biotechnology both must read all right and last to last ecology this also must read please note again must read okay in the chemistry ncrt this is the unit 10 you must read carbohydrate protein enzyme vitamin nucleic acid and hormones must read again okay in the chemistry ncrt this is there's this chapter unit 16 chemistry in everyday life this you should and must read many pyqs have come from these chapter which i told in the biology as well as chemistry and 2023 paper especially gave you a not only hint but a complete direct signal that you must read biology if you want to deal with and especially biology from ncrt if you want to deal with the 2024 paper okay the smartness lies only and only in see everybody is studying they are studying one thing or other you must agree that everybody is studying let's say six to eight hours every day and they are studying thing a or thing b then what makes the difference between who cracks and who does not crack the difference is that who understands that whether they need to read a or they need to read b so upsc is directly telling you something and if you are overlooking that and going towards the conventional sources or reading a only then b will come into the exam in 2024 and you will not be able to solve it because you overlooked what upsc wanted to tell you that time so please take care of all these things in the next video now we'll start dealing with the economy economy section of prelims so change your mind for that and prepare so this is yathar there i hope you learned a lot in this lecture thank you very much i'll be seeing you in the next video have a good day